Let's do problem number 18. The amount of detergent in a Tide laundry detergent bottle is approximately normal with a mean of 92 ounces and a standard deviation of 3 ounces. Okay, so they're telling us it's normal and they're giving us the mean and standard deviation. So let's go ahead and write that down. So the mean is mu, so that's equal to 92, and the standard deviation they say is 3, so sigma is equal to 3. Good stuff. Find the amount of laundry detergent that separates the top 3% of bottles. So we're looking for the amount of laundry detergent that separates the top 3%. So let me draw a picture to show you what that looks like. So here's the normal curve. And so the top 3% is going to be over here, let's say. So this is 3%. So in decimal form, that is 0 0.03. So the area there is equal to 0 0.03. And so we want uh, this value, I'm going to call it uh, little x, that separates the top 3%, so which is here, right, 3%, from everything else. So to do that, we can use probability. We know that the probability that x, I'm going to use a big x here, so these are different x's, <laughs> the probability that x is greater than or equal to this number, whatever this number is, is going to be equal to 0 0.03. So we're looking for the number that separates the top 3% from everything else. So uh, x has to be bigger than this number, and this area is 0 0.03, right? So the probability that x is bigger than this number is 0 0.03. So we want the area to the right of this number to be 0 0.03. So let's type that into StatCrunch. So you go to Stat, Calculators, Normal, and then um, you type in the mean, which is 92, type in the standard deviation, which is 3, change it to greater than or equal to, and then you want to put the area in the second box, right, like this. Okay, so I haven't hit compute yet, but you see it says 92, 3, 0 0.03, just like it's written here on, on the screen. Now compute, boom, and then now it gives us that number, that little x, that's 97.64. So the answer shows up here, so it's 97.64. So that's that's this little x. So the probability that x is bigger than this is 0 0.03. So this is the number that separates the top 3% from everything else. So this number here, this x value, is 97.64. There's, there's a really uh, easy way to do this always. So what, what I do is uh, I just memorize it. So if it says top 3%, you know it's greater than. So if it says like top, highest, you know, biggest, tallest, just pick greater than. If it says smallest, you know, lowest, just pick less than. And I say less than, I mean less than or equal to. But um, in the normal calculator, it only lets you pick, uh, you know, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So top, highest, biggest, pick greater than. Smallest, lowest, you know, shortest, pick less than. And this will work for like, you know, 99% of the problems. Most of the time it will work. Every once in a while they'll get one that's a little bit tricky and they'll use different language. Uh, but for the most part, this will let you do all of these types of problems. This is called a, this is called a cutoff. Whoops, can't spell. <laughs> cut, cut off, cut off value problem. That's what it's called. Because we found the cutoff value. This is the cutoff value. This, this value separates the top 3% from everyone else. So I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.